I've generated over 5,000 quality commercial leads for cleaning companies in the first five months of 2025. And if there's one thing that I've learned, it's this. The more personalized your cold outreach is, the more cleaning walkthroughs you're going to book. A few years ago, you could send 2,000 emails a day with no personalization, no relevance, bad targeting, and still get replies. And you got results. But that doesn't work anymore. That's not working in 2025. Business owners and decision makers like facility managers, operations managers, office managers, they're getting flooded with cold emails every single day. Most are getting ignored, deleted, or sent straight to spam. But if you're just referencing one single thing, like the kind of space they operated, the part of their role that might relate to cleaning, if you're reaching out to a dental office owner, a warehouse facility manager, or a medical clinic office manager, you just putting in one piece of relevance and one detail that can catch their attention and get them to read your email and respond back to it, it's gonna make a huge difference. But the problem with it is that sending a personalized one-to-one -one email to every single lead that you email. It's way too manual and it takes way too much work. But with what we have today in our arsenal in 2025 is that you can use AI to do this all for you. So let me explain. I'm Spencer Painter. I run Outbound Hero. We help commercial cleaning and janitorial companies in the US generate dozens of quote ready exclusive leads every week without cold calling, without door knocking, and without ads. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the most important piece of the AI part of our system. System, how we use AI to write one-to-one -one powerful sentences that actually get decision makers to stop scrolling, read your email, and reply back if they're interested. We call this the poke the bear question. So what is a poke the bear question and why does it matter for a cleaning company? If you've been researching outbound prospecting or sales tactics online lately, you might have seen this idea topic on LinkedIn or YouTube, the poke the bear question. It kind of goes under the idea of just personalizing the first line of your cold emails. People do it manually. They do themselves, they get virtual assistants overseas to do that for them at a cheap labor rate, or they can just use AI to write this poke the bear question. Basically, this is a term that was coined by a sales great, Josh Braun, and then it got adopted by many sales experts. It's having the reader stop, think, and reconsider, or just think about their current solution, and then read on to the next line, and then potentially say they're interested or not. Right now, these sales leaders, and also if you're hiring it out to VAs, it's just so manual. But the thing about it in 2025 is that it doesn't need to be. You can use AI for everything from automating the website, scraping, understanding what a company does and also what might need to be clean and then using that information and then importing it into another prompt that's a content only that gives you personalized first lines that are extremely hyper specific on what a cleaning company could ask a company in their local service area. Each line is customized, researched and relevant without you having to lift one finger. So that's the difference between old school sales and using modern AI to do the work for you. It's gonna get you a lot more replies and a lot more walkthroughs booked. Right now, we're in what marketers call a trust recession. People are extremely skeptical. They don't know who to trust. They don't even know if it's a real person sending the email or writing the email. They won't even give you 10 seconds unless you earn it with some relevance and if it's something that they might need. So if your email is long, vague, or sounds like a marketing message, nothing related to them, and it's just about you, we're skipping it. That's why our poke the bear question, our personalized first line to the reader is hooking them in and it works really well and even helps us get at the minimum for our clients, 7% up to 12% reply rates across all of our cleaning client campaigns. It sounds like a human, it's not a robot. It's relevant to what their business actually does and what their role might entail. And then it challenges them to think without you sounding salesy. So if the company we're emailing is in property management, we ask them something around tenant area cleaning. If they're in construction, we bring up post-project construction cleanup and also just mention their offices. or if it's a healthcare facility. We talk about cleanliness, standards, and compliance. All in 14 words or less. The cool thing about it is that these personalized first lines are literally showing up in the preview text just in the email inbox of the recipients, so the prospects that you're emailing. So you stand out both in the email that they're reading, but also just the email inbox in general amongst the thousands of cold emails they're getting with writing their name and a relevant one-to-one -one question that's going straight to them and about their company. And here's the best part, is that we don't write any of these lines, any of these poke 
to our questions manually. AI does it all for us at scale, one lead at a time, and thousands of them in just an hour. And to make that happen, we use a tool called clay.com. Think of clay as the control center to your outbound prospecting. It's what powers our entire system to get our clients multiple leads every single week. And these are quality leads looking for cleaning services at the current moment. It connects everything and automates the entire lead flow process from pulling leads all the way to personalizing and importing the leads into your sending tool. But a little overview of what Clay does. So to make this work, basically after we found a lead, we validated their email. Clay is automatically triggered with an AI powered web scraper called Clayagent, and it's powered by ChatGPT. The scraper looks at the company's website, their company's LinkedIn, their company's Facebook page. And then from there, it figures out what type of business they are, what types of rooms or spaces probably need cleaning or compliance things that could be worth mentioning. So spaces like exam rooms, tenant kitchens, lobbies, break rooms, restrooms, all of this info is gathered and then it's gonna be helping us get into the next step, which is writing the poke the bear question. So once we have all the information gathered, including both what the company does and also what might need to be cleaned or regularly cleaned. We send all that information automatically into another chat GPT prompt inside of Clay. This prompt basically has a full prompt that's in detail, but long story short, it's write a short, specific, thought-provoking question under 14 words that challenges how this decision maker is currently handling cleaning in their space. And boom, we get a perfect, near perfect, customized question that feels relevant and human and is probably going to resonate with the person reading the email. So here are a few examples AI has written. Do you currently clean your lobby and break room during business hours? How do you approach post construction cleanup after client handoffs? And then are your patient rooms and lobby clean to compliance standards every day? Each one is built around what the business actually needs and it leads perfectly into the next line. So if we're emailing emailing ABC Dental in Seattle. Here's how the final message looks. Subject line, cleaning question. And then the email goes on as, hi John, how often are patient rooms in your lobby cleaned to meet patient expectations and compliance at ABC Dental? Next line, asking because we're a commercial cleaning company that works with many businesses in the Seattle area, are you open to a complimentary cleaning estimate? That's it, it's short, it's relevant, very easy to read. It doesn't feel like a marketing message, it's about the person that's reading it and it feels like someone's paying attention to them and kind of knows what they might need cleaned or what they might do, or basically just showing that you kind of know them. And it's entirely built by AI without you lifting a finger. This is awesome for cleaning businesses and janitorial businesses because you don't have to be tech savvy. But if, if you are tech savvy, the nicest thing about this is that it runs in the background and you set it up once and it continues to work automatically and to your liking because you can train the prompt based on what you specialize in, the services that you like to sell best. So if you're specializing in carpet cleaning, you can talk more about and matching to what industries need for carpet cleaning. Also for sanitization, so restaurants, if you wanna talk about drain cleaning, things like that. You can go deep into the prompt around what you want it to say in that poke the bear question based on the results from the web scrape on what the company does and what they might need cleaned. The thing about this and everything about this one-to-one -one personalization approach is that the system works while you sleep because it's automated. AI is doing the one-to-one -one personalization for you. The outreach is handled for you as well. So it's imported directly into your sending tool. And then when someone replies asking for a quote, it's gonna be handed off to you and it's gonna be natural to the conversation. So if you're relying on cold calling, paid ads, word of mouth or door knocking, you're missing out on real opportunities every day. First, if you're not doing this in your cold emails or you're not sending cold emails at all. If you wanna see how this would work for your cleaning or janitorial business, the link right below in the description of this video. I want you to go down, click the link in the description and book in a quick 15 minute call. It can be a phone call or Google Meet, whatever you wanna choose, there's a selection. What we'll do is walk you through the kinds of businesses we can target in your city, which ones we should exclude as well, how many quality commercial leads you can likely expect in your service area, and then how fast we can get started sending you exclusive quote ready leads within the service area and the types of companies you wanna reach out to. You don't need to write anything yourself. You don't need to figure out any of this on your own. We've built the system. We'll just apply it for your own business. You just need to show up and be ready for quality exclusive leads sent to your email inbox every day. So let's start getting the conversation started if you're interested in growing your cleaning business or janitorial business the right way. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.